Welcome back, everyone. We have more mainstream media lunacy for all of us to laugh at. We'll start with this. CNN host Brian Stelter and Michael LaRosa, the former press secretary for First Lady Jill Biden, sat down on Sunday to discuss the Biden family, the Biden administration. When Stelter asked LaRosa about the Hunter laptop scandal, and LaRosa did his best to sidestep the historically corrupt presidential family scandal, he quickly switched the conversation to say that this was an issue to tackle later on down the road. Watch. Hunter under federal investigation. Charges could be coming at any time. This is not just a right-wing media story. This is a real problem mm -hmm. for the Bidens. Mm -hmm. Could he decide not to run for re-election, given his son? Look, they make, they make decisions as a family, and um, they will make that decision uh, when it's time. But you know, do, you like think he to, do you think they've talked about it yet? No. They're, the president's doing his job. He's doing his work. He's not focused on that. It's 19 months. <laughs> Why would he be doing that? Um, okay, so you're saying it's, uh, the press is getting ahead of... Way ahead. Way ahead. Look, there's more work to do. Uh, it's been 19 months, and, um, you know, he, he intends to run, like you said. Hmm. But I think we... I think... I think the focus should be from the press on how what he is doing is affecting people. Oh, uh, Hunter's laptop? Well, Biden, I mean, it's 19 months. Biden intends to run, though. So, yeah, let's uh, steer clear of the Hunter Biden laptop scandal. He instead laughs at the thought of Biden starting to prepare to run in 2024. And, I mean, I'm laughing, too, but I'm laughing for a very, very different reason. Joining me now to weigh in on this, director at MRC-TV, Eric Shiner. Eric, it has been too long, my friend. Great to have you back <laughs> on the program. Brian Stelter doing what CNN never does, which is actually hold the left's <laughs> feet to the fire. I was very surprised. Kudos, credit where it's due to Brian Stelter for pressing him on this question. Um, but this, the, uh, La, Rose, La Rosa rather, was uh, very quick to sidestep talking about Hunter Biden. Well, you look, we, you know, I don't know how much credit you want to give Brian Stelter here. We all know CNN is a circus. There's a lot of clowns at this circus, but occasionally you get an acrobatic act like Brian Stelter performed a wonderful <laughs> backflip. It was incredible because in October of 2020, he was saying this was a manufactured scandal yeah, done yeah, by the right, right wing media. It didn't exist. And now he's like, oh, uh, yeah, this Hunter Biden scandal really exists and, it, and it's really bad. I want to know what happened. Uh, you know, during his practices to get the backflip. Is it the new management saying we want more news and, and less opinion? And all of a sudden, you know, it's amazing what one uh, can do in order to try to keep a job. Uh, I find it really interesting. And of course, Brian doesn't discuss his backflip at all. But like you said, oh, yeah, we get a Biden spokesman who says, we're going to focus on uh, the campaign and what Joe Biden's done for Americans. We don't want to talk about this. Yeah, yeah of course you don't want to talk about this. And then Brian lets him off the hook.